Hello and welcome back to Gaming Zero. We do another video about our frame. In this video, it's gonna be Octavia a Prime Steel a Path and Game God Mode. You can name it whatever you desire. But before going there, you already know. In this channel, we go like big helping beginners to understand what we're talking about, so they can reach this point of the game. As they will reach it eventually, everyone can reach the end game. Warframe doesn't really have an end game, as the end game of this game is fashion frames, dojo decorations, orbiter decoration. These stuff are Riven collections, Kuva, uh, Kuva weapon names, and so on and so on. Mobs and so on, there is no really end game, but we call it end game because it's the, the toughest and the most badass mobs out there, which is Steel Path. I'm gonna show you how to unlock Steel Path in a bit, but let's take a look at Octavia uh, Kit for beginners to understand what's going on. Okay, the passive, replenish 30 energy over 30 seconds for Octavia and allies with 15 meters when abilities are activated. Because uh, all of Octav Octavia abilities are activa activation based. So you hit the ability, it takes duration. To, it's, not, it's not like spammable or something. You hit it and it takes time. So it's activated and disactivated. Okay? So while it's any of your abilities, which all of them should be activated all the time, you're going to be replenishing 30 energy for 30 seconds, which is one energy per uh, second. Okay? Uh, we have the mallet. Arithmetically uh, beats damage into nearby enemies and draw their fire damage inflict on the mallet increase its lethality Drain 36, damage multiplier 3.4 uh, explosion, radius, uh, radius, radius <laughs> 21 uh, meter, duration 47 uh, seconds This one what it does, you throw like a small beat and enemies will draw fire there So stay away from mallet Please guys, I've seen many 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 Octavias when I'm playing sometimes with other players in Steel Path they standing near mallets and they're dying because guys let's be honest imagine at certain point in steel path let's say enemies level around 4000 one bullet can take off all your shield the second bullet is deadly you're gonna die okay so imagine my friend all the enemies hitting that spot and you're standing there near a dancing like this hey 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 pa! dead okay stay away resonator this one is a bit tricky Launches a roll, uh, roller ball that charms uh, foes to follow it, combines with a mallet to uh, create a roving ball of sonic destruction. This one is very simple. It charms the enemy, it keeps running, it doesn't die, it doesn't have HP. It keeps running, keep running, keep running, and enemies are following. Hey, it's a ball, let's go, it's a ball! That's what, that's what it's about. But, remember, they gonna attack it at certain point, so if you are near it, be careful, you can die as well. So let's imagine it like this. You are here and the resonator here. So when the resonator coming to you, you move to the other side and vice versa. Okay, this is how you work with the resonator. Otherwise, go hide in a roof or something so you don't get touched. If you want to stay in the ground, remember what Hag said. The opposite of your resonator and stay away from your mallet. <clears throat> let's go to a metronome. Metronome is where the complication of Octavia, yet it's simple, I'm gonna explain it to you and you're gonna say, ah, oh, oh my god, all this time I didn't play Octavia, and it's this simple, very, very, very simple, four buffs, if you jump you get speed, if you hit with the uh, melee you get more damage, if you hit with a rifle you get more rifle, if you crouch, you get invisible, simple as that, what it does is, if you jump, you're gonna get speed plus 40%. If you uh, hit with a weapon, you're gonna get multi-shot 40%. If you hit with a melee weapon, you're gonna get 40% melee damage. It's not showing their invisibility because it's not that, there's no buff to it. It's like simple. You crouch, you get a go invisible of duration 35 seconds. Simple as that. It drains 108, and but it remains. It stays for 47 seconds. So it stays for 47 seconds. You keep jumping, hitting, doing whatever you want. And you can do them all same time. You can get the buff of jumping. You can get the buff of hiding. You can get the buff of the melee. You can get the buff of the weapon all at once. Don't worry. Okay? The ump. Now, this is one of the most strong stuff. For Octavia, which gives damage multiplier, draws power from the decable uh, level of sound in the area and uses it to amplify a damage buff for Octavia and her allies. It also doubles the damage and range of nearby mallets. Simple as that. So use amp, then use mallet. Easy as that. Doubles the range and the damage. And yet you're going to get damage multipliers. 
That's why when you play with Octavia, you feel you have the feeling your weapon's doing more damage because the metronome and the amp. Simple as that. Now, the build I'm gonna show it to you later on. Now, we have we're gonna go with uh, Kuvazar. Feel free to use whatever any weapon you want. I mean, it, it doesn't matter. Uh, for me, all the weapons almost equal. I'm gonna go Glaive Prime because it's my main weapon. I would advise to use weapons with the beat range uh, to stay away from enemies. Octavia, she's very vulnerable. She can die easy. But trust me, guys, doesn't matter what you're saying. Like, oh, she can go invisible forever and you don't need to do anything. Not in mod. You need to stay alive, so try to keep distance from enemy. Don't go in the enemies and say, hello, I'm swimming inside you. And then, boom, one shot. And, oh, my goodness. I mean, Panzer Volpefeile will save you one time. But the second time, you're going to be sitting in your ass right there. The Manda Short. I'm going to show you the build of the Manda Short. Because I cannot show you my build for Manda Short. Because it exists on the channel already, but uh, I need to show you how it's working so you get the idea. So you see how good the Manda Shard is. The Manda Shard is the key. Key of what, Hank? So if you jump, if we open this and we jump, we get the buff. See that? Now the beat is the key on getting the buff. It's already there. Now if we go here, boom, 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 I'm visible. Get the idea? The beat is responsible of how fast? You can get those buffs. Remember when I tell you more damage to the weapon, more damage to the primary or secondary, more da more speed and invisible. How fast you get them is based on the beat of the uh, what is called the metronome. Okay, so let's take a test. There we go. So as you can see, these enemies right there, they're paused. Okay, we're gonna throw them the resonator. That's the charm. As you can see, they're running. Oh, it's a ball. It's a ball. Let's go. Okay. Here we go. Now watch this. Boom, 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 boom. Invisible. Okay. Here is the one that draws fire. Here it is. You see this? Now they are charmed and drawing fire. So the enemies are so confused right now. They're so confused. Now let's throw this. Our amp. There you go. So they actually have no idea what to do. That's how powerful Octavia is. So let's show them what they need to do. They need to die. Okay, there you go. Easy, easy, easy. Okay? Simple as that. The range is insane, I know. You don't have to say it, guys. The range is insane. Okay, here we go. Look, you see? Only without resonator. You see? Imagine you catch yourself in this fire. Look at this. They, they're dead. But you saw? You saw how fast my uh, shield gone? Imagine steel path. Okay, let's go, guys. Enough talking. Time for the gameplay. If you're new to the channel, always we test our build before uh, the video for a 1 hour, 1 hour, 30 minute. Of course, minimum. But this build, I did go almost level up with it. So, don't worry. Uh, let's go. We're going fast travel navigation. And then we go test it for five minutes. As you're a veteran or new or it doesn't matter, you're gonna understand the build or the power of your weapon. First in similar com, and then if you take it to steel path, you're gonna understand for the first five five minutes how good is the build and if it's gonna work well for you or not. So steel path, all enemies gonna be plus 100 level, enemy health shield and armor gonna be plus 250% in return of this uh crazy buffs you're gonna get plus 100 resource drop chance and uh, mod drop chance you're not gonna find a lot of players playing steel path most of them are scared so we're gonna go to uh invites only so we don't bother the terms because we're gonna leave when we really want okay let's go there you go. we're not in the best rotation some players will just quit reset uh, a better uh, location because there is a better location for this okay there you go there you go and some tenos likes to come for example they stay like uh for example here you can just stay here you see this kaboom and they they catch you see that because the weapon is alarming so keep that in mind Okay, there we go. So, boom. Try to stay in the air. 
if you want to go AFK build, you can, but remember, you need to stay away from this stuff. So you can go like, I don't know, here, you can go here, but remember to cast your abilities and hit from here, 15 million, so that, that's how we roll. For me, going AFK is still 12 million. For me, going AFK in Steel Path is kind of... Um, I don't know, man. It's just not my thing. <clears throat> there you go. I mean, you already can... You see, some bullet catch me. Uh, they didn't see me. Uh, it's, not, it's not me. They're hitting the resonator. Okay? Look at that. That's what I've been telling you. If you are, uh, I mean, you can you can die easily, guys. The, so that's why the moment your shield shield deplete, shield gate, run, move. Uh, I don't know. Do something. You're gonna die. If you don't mind dying, that's something else. That's another story. Wait, wait. Look at this, guys. Look at this idea. You just sit here. You do like this. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> guys, first time I do this. It is kind of funny, you know. Hello. 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 Oh, you see that? You see, the resonator was here, and there was heater it, and I got, uh, like, uh, some damage. See that? So, what shield gating is, in case you don't know. In Warframe, we have something called shield gating, my friend. I will explain it to you while we're doing this. I mean, we need to kill the five minutes. I'm not going to play you... Uh, Music, doof, 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 doof. And sometimes you do that, sometimes you don't. So I need to talk to you guys, since there is something to talk about. So shield gating, my friend. It, you see your shield, 358, right? Okay. So if an enemy right now hit me one million damage, I will not die. That's what shield gating is. The 358 will deplete. Okay, and then he have to hit me for 300 or more to die. How you know your shield depleted? Your screen will shake like electric uh, shake. Okay? That's how you know your shield depleted. You see that? Blue uh, thing. That what that means your uh, shield deplete. Shield gated. There you go. I mean, we can uh, switch to some uh, Kovazar, like hit here, hit there. <clears throat> I'm going to show you all the, the, the stuff I've been using here, guys. So in case you want to follow the same. Okay, here he is. And he's dead. Okay, simple as that. I mean, it doesn't require a lot of, like, nothing. I mean, just... Just follow the build, man, and you're gonna get it easy. Okay? Everything else is just you and the game. Okay? So, uh, yep, I forgot to uh, open for you guys the... Uh... Yeah, you see, I'm gonna die, I think, but I need to open this for you guys. Keyboard. So you see uh, what I, I've been doing. There you go. I'm going to stay for two more minutes. So you guys can uh, see. You see I'm hitting uh, the uh, control which cause crouch. Hop, 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 hop. It's very simple. In th This game is so good. Sometimes it can be complicated, but if you understand what is what is that you're doing, what's your Warframe doing, it becomes so simple, guys. Trust me. 
This game becomes so easy if you understand why that frame does that. What's the thing behind it? How I'm doing the damage? And so on and so on. That gonna help you tons, guys. It's like everything is synced. Okay? Uh, and the mouse and the keyboard, guys, it was based on your suggestions, by the way. Um, let me know what you want to suggest. I am all ears, baby. Just let me know. And uh, you guys asked for Octavia uh, Prime for Steel Path. There you go. Go to you guys. Let's go. If you're looking for fashion frame, uh, weapon builds, you name it. Ask Hank, Hank's Deliver. Anything you don't understand, let me know. We have a Discording as well if you want to con direct contact me. There we go. Perfect. Some Argon, Mercellus, and some, some, some here. Now it's time to show you the builds, guys. I'm going to show you the build for Octavia I've been using. The Zar. The uh, Glaive. All of them in the channel, but I'm going to show them to you because I know some of you are lazy to dig here and there. There you go. So, first thing first. Arsenal. The pet that we've been using is Panzer Volpafila. He broke a viral by himself. There you go. And save your life and hold uh, HP for you. We're moving to Zerulu Jelmuh Kuvazar. There you go, guys. This is the build. Raven Kitty could chance me to shot project, uh, minus projectile speed. If you don't like uh, this one, let me think with what you can replace it, my friend. With what you can replace it. You can replace it with Vigilante Arment. You can replace it with Vigilante Fervor. You can replace it with. Um, hmm, let's see. Hmm, you can replace it with uh, Galvanized uh, Aptitude. You can replace Galvanite Scope if you want to do head headshots. You can replace with Prime with Fast Hand. Play around with them. Prime and Mercialize. Uh, here is the Glaive. Don't worry about the Kuvan Nooker, but here is the build. In case you're wondering. Uh, the Glaive Prime. There you go. I love this Rivens, guys. Cold melee damage, critical chance, minus combo duration. So good stuff. Okay. Uh, I'm using Zenerik for some energy, but don't worry about Zenerik. You can use uh, Vazarin instead for protective dash. Allies hit by Void Dash are granted immune from damage for 5 seconds and heal 60% over 5 seconds, which is good. Uh, para zombie. <laughs> okay, the Manda Short, guys. <clears throat> now, what it matters for you is the Metronome. You see the Metronome? It's what matters to you. Don't worry about the Resonator. Don't worry about the Mallet. The Metronome, my friend, is the pink one in the bottom. Just follow this. I'm going like pyramid. Simple. You see this? Pyramid. So what is it? Crouch, 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 crouch. Jump, 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 jump. Hit, 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 hit. You see that? Simple as that. Pyramid, baby. Boom, 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 Simple as that. Okay? That's all you need to do. Okay? So, what else, guys? What do you want more? That's everything. Now you're ready. Uh, no, you're not ready. I didn't show you Octavia build. Well, that's nice of me, right? I almost, <laughs> I almost got you guys, right? Like, what the heck? Wait, the Octavia build! So, Godavia. Energy Siphon. For uh, Warframe Energy Regenerate plus 6 energy rate. Plus her passive, which creates a lot of energy. You don't want to run out of energy in Octavia. That's something very deadly. But if you don't like it, you can ride, uh, put a brief respite for more uh, uh, shields. But we're gonna, we like shield gating, right? So we don't want... Uh, yeah, so energy siphon, shield gating. You get the idea. Power drift, ability strength, uh, and chance to resist a knockdown. If you don't like this one, you can ride, of course, uh, prime sure-footed. I don't have the sure-footed, not yet login. Sure-footed. If you, you can run the primed one if you want. Narrow-minded, overextend. Narrow-minded for ability duration, minus ability range. Ex overextended for ability duration and minus ability strength. Blind range for ability strength and minus ability efficiency. Uh, primed continuity for ability duration. Rolling guard on dodge become unvulnerable for uh, 2.8 seconds and remove all city effects 8 seconds cooldown. If you have slash, 
this will help you if you have uh, something very bad in or you have some very bad situation this will help you i mean rolling guard it's not a must but if you plan to go for a long run and you don't like dying primed flow for energy max we want always to keep energy going stretch for ability range ogre reach for ability range and 40 percent energy spent on ability converted to shield they gave it some shield come on it's nice arcane energize for uh, of course the mighty arcane energize who doesn't know arcane energize arcane acceleration because it was unique of azar if you want you can use arcane arcne for uh Arach arachne on wall latch 150 percent damage for 30 seconds you're gonna make a lot of damage my friend uh, you can go arcane fury for many damage create more damage up to you guys what wh whatever you desire this play eh, whatever you desire you can put even a guardian even armor doesn't matter in warframe that is totally uh, up to you there you go that's octavia hmm. now now yeah now for real i think i didn't miss anything forgot anything mm, yeah so guys i want to say first thing first before telling you to sub and so on i want to say something thank you so much i want to say it where are you I want to say thank you so much guys for your amazing 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 support for this channel guys there is tons of you been following this channel and we are friends we are family we're building a community and many of you now joining our discord we're building an even bigger community there thank you guys so much i appreciate your amazing support so if you like this channel if you like the content hit that subscribe button don't hesitate it supports the channel a lot so we reach more tenos and we grow more uh, our uh, community uh, as well hit like or dislike depends on uh, what you think i mean if you like it like it if you don't like dislike it dislike it it's something different this is something different from the uh, subscribe uh, let me know in the comments below what you think about this build let me know in the comments below what you want uh let's say what what you want the next build to be or what you what weapon you want me to make for next build or fashion frame and uh, so on stay safe uh, warframe is home huh? bye bye no what not bye bye i mean uh, see you later <laughs>